let's take a look at how to set up a Google business profile. And this used to be called Google My Business, now called a Google business profile. And basically it's a way for your business to show up on Google Maps and also in the search results for local searches. One thing that you really need to keep in mind with this is it's for local search. So you do need to have a business that is gonna either have a physical location or a service area where you're meeting with people in person for your business. So it's not really good for businesses that are done entirely online. For me as a web developer, if I didn't have a physical service area where I met with clients, like I actually work with a lot of clients in my local area. So I do have my business as a local business because I work with people in person in a lot of cases. I also work with them online, but I do work with a lot of them in person. So for me, it makes sense. But for some businesses, it really doesn't make sense. And in fact, if you don't have people that you do business with in person, then Google isn't going to let you keep your business profile. Just keep that in mind. Now, when you create your Google business profile, it can be for a physical location or for a service area. So for example, if you have a lawn care service, people aren't necessarily coming to visit you at your office or warehouse or wherever you keep your stuff, but you're going to them in that physical area. So that's the service area business. Try to keep that in mind. Now, the first thing you wanna do is search for your business and see if you've already got a profile or if somebody has already created a, a business on the maps. So you're gonna to go to Google Maps. You can just go to maps.google.com, search for your business. So you can see that I searched for the business that I'm working on, which is Cup of Crofton, and it doesn't come up, nothing comes up. So chances are that the business is not in there. And if I look really carefully, I don't see Cup of Crofton anywhere. So that's great. So now what I'm gonna do is go to business.google.com. You do need to log in with a Google account to do this. And you can log in with your business account, you can log in with your personal account, but just make sure whatever account you log into, remember which account you're using to create the Google business profile, write it down somewhere, because you need to be able to log in with that account to access the business profile in the future. So you need to actually be logged in to that Google profile, that Google account. So the first thing you'll do on here, you'll click on, I think it's start now. Actually, let me go to business.google.com so we can look because I can't remember what it is. So business.google.com, there it is, manage now. So you would click on manage now and that's gonna take you to the screen. And here you're gonna type in the name of your business. For me, it's Cup of Crofton. And this is another place where you're gonna be able to check to see if it exists or not. Uh, you can see it doesn't exist, so I can create a business with this name. And then you have to choose the category. So you'll just start typing something in. So I'm going to say this is a tea store. And then click Next. And then you can specify if you want to add a location, like a store or an office. So this is going to be if you want to put a physical address in. And then that location is actually gonna show up on Google Maps and also in Google Search. The physical location will show up. You answer this the way that works for your business. So if you do have a physical location, you would say yes. If you don't have a physical location and said you're working with a service area, then you would answer no. One thing that I do not recommend is putting your home address in here. So if you have a service area and you are meeting with people out in your service area, but you're doing the work or most of the work from your physical location, which is your home, I would click no for this and then just use the service area. I will put the physical location because it's not set just yet, but we'll, we'll do that for now. So I'm gonna click next. And then you're gonna enter your business address. This is a temporary address for right now. So we're gonna say 1123 Maryland 3. And that's in Gambrels. Click next. And is this your business? It's going to ask you, it's going to say, is this one of yours? And we're going to say none of these. So we'll click next. And then do you provide deliveries or home and office visits? So if you go out to your customers, do you do that? You can answer yes or no. We're going to say no. And then you can put in the contact details that you want to show to customers. At the very least, you're going to want to put a phone number. So I'll put my office phone number. 
think that's it, 1815. And then if you have a website already, you can put that in there. So I've got cuppacrofton.com. Click next. And it's gonna take a second here. It's gonna try to verify. If the website doesn't exist, the phone number doesn't exist, then it may not verify you. So you may have to take some extra steps. So make sure that those exist before you do this. So we're gonna click next. And then you can add your business hours. This is really good if you do have that physical location so you know when people can come and visit you. Right now we're gonna say it's closed. I'm not gonna add my business hours, so we'll click next. And then you're gonna want to add a description. So we're gonna say Cup of Crofton offers the finest teased, loose and brewed teas. And then we'll click next. You can add some photos of your store if you have them. This is not required, but it's very, very highly recommended. I'm gonna skip that for right now. And then you also, they give you a credit, I believe. You, well, they may not by the time you watch this uh, video, but I believe they give you a credit to get started with Google Ads when you're first setting up your Google business profile. So if you want to, you can click on get started. But for now, I'm just gonna click on skip. And it's gonna it's gonna make them visible once you're verified. So we're gonna click continue. And my business profile is created. It's not really live yet. It's not gonna be visible. If you go to search for it, it may not show up. And actually, let me do that real quick. So if I search for Cup of Crofton, it shouldn't show up in the search results. Uh, I'll say Cup of Crofton, Gambrels, Maryland. And it doesn't show up just yet. For the verification process, you do have to be aware that if you are saying that you've got a physical location, then it's going to require you in some cases to send a picture of your sign, of your front door, of your physical location. So you may need to verify that it is an actual physical location. Now, once you've created the profile and you're ready to go back and edit it, you can get to it from maps.google.com or you can go back into business.google.com. So I'm just gonna go back to the original page. So this page here, business.google.com. And then you can click on the Google logo in the top and that's gonna give you a list of your businesses. So you can go through and there's the Cup of Croft. And I can click on a little pencil and that's gonna let me modify some of the options here. So I can go through and change that. If you wanted to set it up as a service area, and, I, and I've seen this before, maybe you've accidentally set it up as a physical location, you wanna change it to a service area, you can do that. But you would click on the pencil icon there, go to location, and you can see here you would change the service area. So we'll say that this is in Anne Arundel County and click save. And you can see it does review it. Again, uh, it's sometimes it's physical review or a person's actually reviewing it. Sometimes it is the automatic review. If you need to remove your business location from the map, you can turn this off. So you just like click there and then you can turn off the business address so that it's not being shown to customers. So no location, deliveries and home service only. And you can see here again, my service area is still pending. So it may or may not update it. So let me see if I can search for it yet, see if it comes up. Nope, it's not coming up yet. It'll take a little while. So once it, once it comes up, you'll be able to see it uh, in the places if you have a physical location, it'll actually show it on the map. If you don't have a physical location, then it, it should still show up when you search in the local area. That is it. It's very important if you've got a local business to add a Google business profile. So make sure you do it. Thanks for watching.